Hi, Dave here to give an honest review of a 24-hour MRE ration. Now, having a product like this is a great way to prepare for times when you just can't cook a meal. Say you're out of electricity, you're out backpacking in the country, or when things have really hit the fan. So with that said, let's take a look at what's inside the bag and let's see how everything tastes. All right, so I've opened up my ration here, kind of spread everything out, giving it an overview, taking the stock of the inventory, looking at what I have. And my first impression here is that this looks like a lot of food. It certainly looks like enough to sustain me for 24 hours. And I, I dare say this might be more than what I eat in a day. So I, I think there's plenty here. Taking a look at what we have, we have three packages of emergency drinking water, a package of long grain rice, two entrees, uh, one is a chicken and rice with vegetables. The other is Tuscan beef with white beans. So we'll see how those taste. And to heat those three up, we've got uh, three flameless ration heaters. So that way you can have a nice hot meal. And then we have just kind of a lot of little stuff here to drink. We have lemonade and grape flavored drink. Uh, I've got a package of crackers, nut and raisin mix, corn nuts, apple cinnamon oatmeal, a high energy bar. I've got flour tortillas, oatmeal cookies, and peanut butter. So that's that's it to eat and drink there. And then they have two uh, of these accessory packages with a spoon, some salt, pepper, some Smarties, a little dessert candy there. So that's, a, that's kind of a nice touch actually. And then in between meals and certainly at the end of the day, we've got fluoride toothpaste and a toothbrush. So I would say this looks like plenty. It looks like you would have all you need. Now remains to be seen how it all tastes. So I think what I'm gonna do is probably break this up into two meals and just sample everything. All right, so let's try heating up our meal. Tear here to insert meal pouch, okay. Insert an RE pouch, all right. Uh, okay, insert MRE pouch. Add water to bag up to fill lines, okay. So I got the fill lines here, I got my water. Okay, and then it says to full bag over top. Okay, so. Well, that's getting hot. Wow, look at that. So it says 15 minutes. So let's uh, do a little timer here. Excellent. All right, let's get them all going, actually. Woo! Yeah, that's hot. Uh, it doesn't smell that bad, actually. All right, so let's get the other ones. All right, so while I'm waiting for these things to heat up, I'm gonna kind of spread everything out, take everything out, and uh, and then sample everything. Can't wait to do all of it. All right, looks like our entrees are heated up. I also took everything out and spread it out there, so I'm gonna sample all of that. Let's get this puppy out of here. Whew, what's up? All right, this is our Tuscan Beef, it's wet. Oh, honestly, I'm a little tired. All right, well, as soon as it is, I think you supposed to be able to tear it, but not the case here. All right, let's take a look at that. This is Tuscan beef with cannellini beans and uh, Lentils and vegetables. Uh, at first glance, this is not appetizing. <laughs> we'll have to say <laughs> but it's not looking that great. Uh, here we are. This is the uh, okay. This is the rice, which I think I'm going to add on top of that. Um, as a matter of fact, that should be there. I'm gonna flip that over. And uh, yeah, just add a little bit of rice there. Top don't necessarily need all of it. Uh, just to give it a taste. Let me set that to the side. And then, uh, and by the way, these get hot. I mean, that is that is that was steaming. Uh, as I touch it here, I mean, it is definitely hot to the touch. Uh, so that's a really really cool thing that they have here for for these. And this is the uh, chicken and rice entree. Okay, that'll open that up. And uh, oh, smells not too bad. Very hot. Almost burning my hands as I take it out. Uh, not too bad there. Not looking too. Not looking terrible. And right, there's more in here. I mean, just it's just a little bit hot to the touch. So I've waited. They said to wait 15 minutes, but I've actually waited um, not closer to 20. 
All right, so just putting all this stuff aside here for now. So let's take also take a look at what else we have. So we have our, our main entrees, uh, which I'm gonna taste in just a second. We've got two drinks, of course, we have the grape drink. Uh, when it came out of the package, it was very clumpy. Uh, something worth noting, um, and just give it a taste. Now, I don't like that, <laughs> but I'm also not a fan of grape flavored stuff. So that just could be to your, uh, to your personal taste. This is lemonade. Good, yeah, so I like lemonade and that's good. So if you, if you like grape flavored stuff, you'd probably like this. Got some coffee here, a cup of coffee with, uh, uh, did come with a coffee packet with some creamer, some sugar. Also in here is a moist towelette, uh, Smarties, hot sauce, and uh, of course a spoon and then a napkin. So I'll try the coffee. I mean, it's about what you'd expect from <laughs> coffee that came in a little packet. <laughs> So that's that. Now, some of the little things. Let's take a let's take a taste of uh, before that cools uh, before that cools down. I just want to taste some of this other stuff. I got some corn nuts here. Whoa! Is that corn or is it nut? Oh. Either way, it tastes good. Another thing here. Got some crackers. Um, now these didn't survive. I'll take a drink here. These crackers did not survive the uh, taking them out of the packet, so they're all just kind of a little bit crumbly. I mean, not a, not a huge deal, uh, but that did happen. So I'm, I don't know what they do to them. I mean, crackers are fragile, so that's it. But I figured, got this peanut butter, got a cracker. Seems like a perfect marriage to me. So let's get some of this uh, peanut butter out of, out of here, out of the cracker. Good. No? I mean, that's... And that's peanut butter, that's a cracker. That's always a good combination. And uh, yeah, definitely like that. Now, one thing that I mentioned earlier, I have this oatmeal, uh, apple cinnamon oatmeal. I don't know what to do with this. It's dry. Uh, I don't know if this would heat up along with this. It doesn't say, like the rice, because the rice said it was parboiled, so I assumed there was, uh, it just needed to be heated up. I don't know if that's the case with this. I don't really get it, so, and I only had three things to heat, so I'm just leaving this aside. I assume it's just, you know, typical oatmeal. I don't know, but uh, don't get it, not eating it. <laughs> strange one. Now, speaking of strange, now I have these crackers here, which were actually tasted pretty good. The peanut butter was good. Now I got these tortillas. Uh, I, I don't know what to do with a, this, just a plain tortilla. I mean, you know, it doesn't taste that good. I, I'd rather just have more crackers. Um, I, I don't really want to put the peanut butter on this. I don't really just, I just don't want this at all, to be honest. <laughs> so I don't see the point of, uh, of the tortillas other than to just, just provide some variety. Now, what we do have here is uh, this high energy bar. We'll get a sample of this. Hmm. Almost tastes like shortbread. Actually really good, surprisingly good. At first I'm like, oh, it wasn't quite what I was expecting. But this is actually really good. I definitely recommend this. Uh, it's not something I typically eat, but yeah, uh, that's that's tasty. Uh, we also have some dried fruit here. This looks like, uh, this is apricot, banana, and papaya. Mm. Very good. So far, so good. Other than this tortilla. Now, next up, oatmeal cookies. All right, have a taste here. Crunchy. Good flavor. And what I like, that uh, you might be like, oh, I really like oatmeal raisin cookies. Well, they've got one for you. They've got a mix of uh, raisins and nuts. It looks like peanuts and sunflower seeds along with the raisins. So you can kind of have a little bit of fun here. I think that's kind of what I'm liking. There's a good sampling of everything. So you can get your cookie, and you can get your raisin, you can kind of, you know, have a bite of the cookie. I don't know. That's some of the raisins and the sunflower seeds. Actually a really nice snack. Absolutely great. And then, and as I said at the top, I mean, this looks like, this is a lot of food, honestly. 24 hours, this would be plenty for me. Uh, and I haven't even gotten into the entrees yet. So let's try this uh, Tuscan beef uh, with cannelloni beans, lentils, and veggies that I've added the rice to. All right, let's taste entree number one. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, what do you want to say? For, for being in a pouch, <laughs> it was pretty good. To be quite honest with you. You know what? 
if I was in a situation where uh, I couldn't cook, if I was in a situation where um, you know I'm out in the woods or something like that, this would be just fine. Absolutely, uh, it's not you know, it's not it's not like it's from a Michelin star restaurant, but it's it's not that bad. It's pretty good, I would say. Yeah, I could eat this. I would eat this. I would eat, I would eat all this. Tuscan beef. <clears throat> Tuscan beef with cannellini beans, uh, veggies, and uh, lentils, and I added a bit of rice. That didn't look that great coming out of the pouch. But here, I'm still eating it. So, actually pretty good. Now let's move to the chicken and rice. Now, uh, I didn't really like the smell of this when it came out, and it didn't like look all that great to me, but hey, the beef was good. Yeah, and, and my suspicions, My suspicions were correct. <laughs> At least my nose was correct. I don't like this. <laughs> I'm gonna have one more bite just to make sure. No, I'm not a fan. I mean, I, it's not terrible. Um, I prefer the the I prefer the beef definitely. Um, in fact, I'm almost ready to have another bite of the beef. Uh, but all of this is really good to be honest. And I was really kind of waiting for the end here, which is the Smarties. I love these. So it's kind of, I don't know, just a childhood thing. Huh? Guys and parties. Well, all in all, taking everything in, I would say the worst thing, everything, all this, the drinks are okay. I can handle, I'm, I'm, I'm getting used to the grape drink. Uh, lemonade's good, coffee's about what you'd expect. Uh, not a fan of the tortillas. I don't know what's going on with the oatmeal. Uh, and, but all this other stuff, the drying fruit, the energy bar, the, the, the raisin and nut mix, the oatmeal cookies, even the corn nuts, really good stuff. Definitely enough to keep you for, for snacking throughout the day. And uh, while these meals aren't the best, I would say this Tuscan beef is definitely is, is a step above uh, this chicken and rice. You know, if I needed to eat something, <laughs> I certainly have no problem eating it. It's not, it's just not that great, okay? Um, and like I said just a second ago, it's a meal in a pouch. Um, there's only so good it can get, and I'd like to try more to see um, see how what, what really the best ones, how they taste. Uh, but this Tuscan beef one was really not that bad. Uh, a little rice in there. Um, overall, very pleased with this thing. I mean, the package only came, you know, about this big. Uh, it would fit in a backpack very easily. Uh, of course, and I've got, you know, I've got a napkin here. If I wanted to spice things up a little bit, I've got some hot sauce. Uh, I've got a moist towelette now here to wipe my hands. I mean, this genuinely does have everything you need for 24 hours. There's absolutely, uh, I don't see how anyone uh, would, would, you know, I think there's plenty of food here for, for a typical person. Uh, I wouldn't worry about that at all. I would highly recommend uh, having some of these stored away in your house because you never know what's going to happen. Uh, you might lose lose power suddenly. You just didn't have as much food as you thought, uh, or you might have to you know you might have to bug out or something like that. Or you're just camping. Something you could bring. I mean, this is plenty. Uh, you know, you get one of these. You don't have to go around you know buying a bunch of different stuff. This has got everything you need to sustain you for 24 hours. All right, so now that I'm cleaned up here, I want to give my final thoughts. You know, when I first started, when I saw this thing in the bag, I got this is the thing. Is, this is gonna suck. <laughs> this thing is gonna be crappy, uh, and I was pleasantly surprised uh, by one. You know, the quality of the food. Um, you know, I had a couple issues with the with the grape drink and with the, the entrees, particularly the chicken one. Actually, the Tuscan beef one was not that bad. Um, and I, I could have kept eating it on camera <laughs> for all of you. Um, and, you know, beyond and so that you know, there's a couple things. You know, does it taste good? Yes. Is there plenty of food yes and then moving on to you know do I need something like this and I think the answer is yes I think every household should have one of these for every person in their home to sustain them for a couple of days power outages are common everywhere uh, if you're an outdoors person or if you just want a little bit of protection in case things get a little crazy and you might need to bug out or something like that they can you could throw a bunch of those things in a in a in a duffel bag or a backpack or something like that and you've got enough to sustain you you know you buy some water as well some bottled water that lasts forever uh, and just just to be ready you know in an emergency you can just be out of there with plenty of food you're not there grabbing cans and stuff like that so I would I would highly recommend that um, you know maybe not this particular brand but that everyone 
goes out there and, and shops and finds a 24-hour MRE ration uh, for themselves, for those people in their households. I think it's a great thing to buy. Uh, and, you know, they're not super expensive, and they really can go a long way. I was very, very pleased by these, by, uh, by sampling this. Now, uh, we're going to, if you are interested in buying something like this, we're going to have a couple of links below to some places where you can go uh, to buy them. I would highly, highly recommend it. And if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to get more content like this. Thanks so much for watching.